games that are currently installed. It's a very easy interface. Let's start the game on here. Where he's got two six four encoder, so you need that encoder. That's crucial in getting in making sure you don't have the lag. Yeah. Which is why. Um, so again, as you can see, it's uh, it's very good in terms of lag. It feels this is, apart from me being rubbish. <laughs> apart from me being rubbish, it actually. It, it's actually very rare. But that's entirely the reason why we've got automatic settings as well, yeah. to like help that. And as you can see, this is all the sound coming directly from the Justice Shield tablet. <laughs> yeah. And it's quite, it's quite loud. console mode you can run a 1080p streaming so you have a, a much much better than console console experience or something like Skyrim. Obviously already here you're seeing there's no artifacting, it's very very sharp and it's great for the size of screen. Manually from between 4 and uh, 20 megabits per second, obviously. Same for frame rate. So you can actually do an automatic frame rate or you can lock the frame rate on the tablet. So you can lock it at 30 or lock it at 60. Um, you can have different settings for, so say if you're connected over Ethernet as well, uh, you obviously have a much higher bandwidth bitrate available to you. And so you're free, you should really have obviously the maximum quality locked yeah. every time you connect and obviously when you're roaming that is much more variable so if you have a rubbish connection somewhere you can if you want to you can go and optimize it for much for a lower for a lower maximum bit rate to guarantee like a high input speed as well